So a multi-shot chip can shoot single shot, uh, just like any other sensor, um, or it can shoot uh, four shot or 16 shot. And uh, the four shot and 16 shot actually step the chip. They move; it moves the chip, and um, so you're you're moving um, the pixels around. Uh, here's your basic buyer array that's on any RGB sensor. Uh, when you take a single shot, you're working with your basic pixel array, red, green, green, and blue. You measure the values for each of the locations. You get your actual R, G, G, and B. You have two greens uh, because um, the greens are used to calculate the luminance um, as well as the color green. <clears throat> and so you get left with a, a, a Photoshop pixel that has red, green, and blue values. So. On a single shot chip, you have the four basic pixels, and you're creating these sort of virtual pixels. They really don't exist, but um, they're uh, RGB pixels that are calculated from the group of four. <clears throat> On a four shot chip, you're actually stepping, or a four shot camera, you're actually stepping the sensor one full pixel. So you get uh, red, or that rather blue, green, green red. Um, this gives you true uh, red, green, green, and blue information for each, uh, each, each location. So you're not creating red, green, and blue values. You're actually measuring the actual values. So let's start again. Take a picture. You take four shots. And then the software puts it together. So you're getting one RGB reading for that one location. 16 shots, a little bit different story. Well, it's the same principle, but you're moving the sensor half of a pixel. So there you go. You take your first shot, and you literally are setting this up so the camera is shooting 16 shots. So those are your 16 shots, and we can just cycle through that again. You're getting blue value there, blue value there. Green value there, green value there. Just keep your eye right on this first square. Green value again. Now red value. And then an overlapping value. <coughs> so the key is for each of these, and look again at one of the basic squares, you're getting four areas rather than just one and you're getting red, green, green, and blue values for each of those sm those four areas. What you've done is actually quadrupled the resolution of the chip uh, of the sensor without adding more pixels. You're just uh, you're sort of adding them physically by making multi shots. So the it looks like this. There's your first pixel there's your second pixel, there's your third pixel, there's your fourth pixel. So you're left with four more pixels this size, but sampled from their, you know, very, a lot of information around it. Plus, you're not dealing with the disadvantages of a smaller pixel, higher noise, etc. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a remarkable way to leverage the, um, the good big you know, 12 micron, 9 micron pixels of a, of a, of a, of a digital back um, get more refined resolution without sacrificing noise and color fidelity and bit depth.